How could you possibly love white people so much? It's easy. Have you ever looked at them? White man just a joy to be around. They smell like lemon juice and pledge furniture cleaner. And look at them. They gave us discipline, jobs, put structs in our lives, took us out the jungle. What's going on here? What's going on over there? Oh, it's just two niggas killing each other. Proceed. Don't trust them new niggas over there Leaving they nigga essence in the air Them happy, nappy head niggas With the fingers on the trigger Don't trust them new niggas over there Now save me, wasn't nothing wrong with slavery At least we got good food back there Uh-huh, uh-huh White man show could be your... Hear ye, hear ye. White God is a good God. Even darkness can rejoice. For even one's case with the skin of coal can enter the gates of paradise if he hates his own blackness. And white Jesus' is name, amen. Yet another reminder that no matter how much money you got, you still just a nigga. Peace, family. Welcome to Black Star TV 2.0. It's your boy, Black Star. Peace, love, and reparations. Um, I got a, another episode for y'all with the hottest topic in the country and the hottest topic in Black America, which is reparations. And I actually played the uh, the wrong intro. I hit the uh, I, I hit that one by mistake. I meant to hit our brother, Doctor Claude Anderson, especially talking about reparations. Since we're going to be that's going to be this discussion for today. But um, before I get started, I want to say, uh, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you are subscribed already, thank you for your support, and I appreciate your um the love and all the um you know, you know the time that you take out your day to you know come listen to me. I appreciate it, and it don't cost you nothing to hit that subscribe button, family. It's free, so just hit that subscribe button so we can build this channel up. Make sure you smash the like button as well. All right, let's, so let's get into it. We're going to start it off. I'm going to get into this whole reparation. They they talking about, you know, pushing for reparations now in New York based off what happened in California, right? Even though they didn't cut the checks yet in California, but I'm telling you, family, if you listen to my videos before, you know this is my favorite subject, and you know that I said it's going to be a snowball effect. Once one state pops off and gives out reparations. So again, family, we need at least one state to come through with this so we can start getting, you know, checks for everybody, especially on the federal level, because that gonna uh that's gonna make a big, big difference. So let me share my screen and um we're gonna get into this real quick. So first off. I want to start off with this video right here. And this is how we doing anybody opposing reparations. Anybody opposing, anybody opposing reparations, that's how we coming. He was talking hella shit and the white lady said, well done. Listen to her. She said, well done. That's how we doing anybody opposing reparation. Get your muff snot box rocked. You heard me? All right, so let's uh let's start off with this video right here. This is how we're gonna start it off. We gotta watch these. Anyone deny these facts. Why is it immigrants are not stopping reparations? My ancestors come from the Caribbean, and they were okay. slaves in the so Caribbean. Maybe, and we, okay, we maybe didn't we qualify for the we, 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 well, Listen now, I'm going to say this. I don't like Fox News Network, but that white lady just said something very vital. She said, maybe you're not going to qualify for American uh reparations. And that's absolutely true, because we are on a lineage base. Uh, a lineage-based reparations mission. That's exactly what we own, family. A lineage-based reparations mission. Here's the challenge. There are so many difficulties with trying to enact... But listen to her again. Facts. Hold up. Damn, I didn't mean that. Why is it immigrants are not stopping reparations? 
my ancestors come from the Caribbean and they were okay. slaves in the so Caribbean. And we, okay, we didn't qualify, qualify for the we, we, Well, here's the challenge. There are so many difficulties with trying to enact reparations, in part because the question is who gets them? Uh, potentially, I could fall into that category. I honestly have called a pipe dream in the past, and I think that's what it is. Well, it would be nice if there was an elegant, simple solution to all sorts of complicated problems. You're not actually talking about how to fix those problems if you're only talking about reparations. And we're only debating how we're going to parcel out responsibility for something that happened more than a century ago. And we're probably never going to do this. It's not clear to me why we're, we're pursuing this thing. Is it fair that... that no, there's no kind of, there's no reparations, no restitution, nothing. Right? The Irish reparations, by the way, Irish need not, need not apply signs when they came here during the progressive era. I mean, how far do we want to take this down? Are we acknowledging that there are ugly spots in history because 60% of the world would be entitled to slave reparations if you wanted to play that game? Well, here's a fact. Slavery ended 154 years ago. It's been a long, long time since we had slavery in this country. Uh, and you have people like my family. I'm black, but my family came to the United States in 1962. My parents are from Costa Rica. Do I get a check? I... Did a couple of essay contests that I actually won. And I won like NAACP Axel Award for this essay and something else. I can't remember another, like I ended up winning money. And the essay was, um, do you think black people should, have repar should get repar reparations? And I was like, no, you didn't work. Now watch this family. If you notice, right, all of these people, right? Number one, they are non-FBA, non-freedmen. For anybody who is new to the channel and don't know what a freedman or a foundational Black American is, a FBA, it is someone whose ancestors and lineage traces back to chattel slavery in America. So again, um, this is what they try to do. So we started catching on to this too, and they tried to use... Um, you know, people who are from different backgrounds, you're not from, uh, your, your, your ancestors don't trace back to um, chattel slavery, which is why the white lady said to the, to the one girl that you might not be eligible for American um, reparations. And they won't be if it's lineage based. But this is what they do. They get these people. Now, again, if you actually listen to old girl um, in the very beginning, watch this. Watch this. Listen to her. Qualify for we, 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 well, here's the challenge. There are so many difficulties. With she don't even sound Caribbean. She don't even sound Caribbean. And I'm actually going to go when y'all listen to Kamala Harris, because Kamala Harris is actually Jamaican. And in an Indian, right? Her her mom her mom's side is Indian, her dad's side is Jamaican. But when you listen to Kamala Harris talk, the accent isn't there. So they get these people and they par par uh, parade them around as black when you know they don't identify as foundational black Americans, really, or freedmen, and they don't have any uh connection to chattel slavery, which why another reason it's easy for them to say, oh, well, we shouldn't get it. And it's a pipe dream and all of that stuff. Let me finish. Should, have should get reparations. And I was like, no, you didn't work for it. Why are you so against reparations? Valerie, it's a matter of a waste of time. We've got so much to do. And yet you have people who invest so much energy and attention on what I consider to be a dead end idea, a dead end movement. If we were to pay reparations today, we would only divide the country further. We would insult. See, he's Puerto Rican. He doesn't sound like he's Puerto Rican. And he doesn't really look like it. But the man is Puerto Rican, and this is what I mean by the trick bag. And they try to put these people in the political sphere so that it can confuse us. And we say, hey, you know what? We have a black face up here. This is one of our black people, and this, that, and the third one. In actuality, they are actually, because again, we have to be honest, right? Not all um, of our brothers and sisters and cousins from the diaspora and from the Caribbean are against us. But you do have a lot of them who hold vitriol towards foundational Black American and freedmen. So um, 
we do have to watch out for that. You know what I mean? We do have to watch out for that. But let me finish. Vault many black Americans by putting, by putting a, a price, price on, the on the suffering, suffering of, their of their ancestors. ancestors. That was it right there. That was it. But see, this is why we got to watch that. This is why we got to watch that family. And um, let me um, let me show you another one real quick. For black people. So I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm going to do something that's only going to. I'm not always going to only talk about what we can do for black people. So I'm not going to sit here and say, I'm going to do something that's only going to benefit black people. See how, see how Kamala doesn't look Indian to an extent. She doesn't look Jamaican. Right, she doesn't sound Jamaican, she doesn't sound like an Indian, so they parade her as someone as black, a sister girl, black girl magic, and then come down to it. You're opposing reparations. Why? Because if it's lineage based, you will not be eligible. I don't know if um this this ugly looking person right here is um Stacey Abrams. I don't know if she's um foundational black American or if she's mixed or whatever. But again, we are going to have some foundational black Americans who are, you're going to have a very few of them who are against um, reparations. But um, again, you're going to have a very few of them. But I want to get into this. Um, again, this that's how we're doing people who are against reparations, doing them just like that. You feel me? So, all right. So let me, let me get into this, right? So this is um then I'll get into the New York one. So again, uh this is an article that came out on the 9th. Um, what's today? Today's the eleventh. So that came out about two days ago. So supporters demand action on bill to study reparations for African Americans. Now, Sheila Jackson Lee is one of these people who um I believe Sheila Jackson Lee is actually um mixed. I want to say she's mixed. Um, she's not full foundational black American. I could be wrong, but I don't believe she is. But again, um, so supporters of the house bill that would create a commission to study development and reparation for African Americans are working to push legislation forward three decades after it was introduced. U S uh, rep Sheila Jackson Lee, a Democrat from Texas, who is co-sponsoring the bill has called on the president Biden to uh, sign an executive order setting up the commission for House Resolution 40, which is HR 40. So again, family, um, we aren't cool with HR 40 because, you know, we have people like uh, William Darity, uh, William Sandy Darity, um, uh, Dr. Claude Anderson, and others who already did the study on reparations. So we just need you to cut checks, right? And again, um, HR 40 is a is a um is really pretty much a waste of time. But again, this is why they've been BS and I'm going to tell you why they've been BS and on HR 40. Because they know once they put this commission together to study reparations, which I feel like one that if they do put a commission together to study reparations, the first thing is that all the people studying it should be both sides, both parents' lineage should trace back to chattel slavery in America. That's number one. That That is number one and one of the most important things that has to be, right? Nobody else should be involved with the studying of reparations. Two, um, it shouldn't take longer than a year to come up with this study, right? Should not take longer than a year, but if it has to take a year, that's what it has to take. But it shouldn't even take that long. But again, um, we really not with uh, HR 40. But let me finish reading. The bill was first proposed by late John Connors, who introduced the legislation in 1989 and spent years advocating for it in a two day conference last week in Beth Evanston, uh, Illinois, congressional leaders. Experts and organizations met to discuss how to advance HR 40. Last year, um, the city of North Chicago became the first in the nation to begin implementing reparations for its black um, residents. I don't know, I don't know what that's about. I'm gonna click on that little thing too in a second. But uh, HR 40 is 38 years on the books, waiting for someone to say yes. Um, today, uh, Lee said at the conference. 
Um, today we ask with no apologies for an executive order to be in place. So again, um, yes, we are waiting for an executive order. First US city to issue slavery reparations. I didn't know about this right here. Um, the historic plan of Evanston, Illinois to make reparations. Um, what the hell just happened? To make reparations is black uh to his black residents, including housing grants for a fraction of the city's family, has promoted questions about whether funding such programs as opposed to direct payments can can, can be considered reparations for slavery and racial discrimination at all. The first phase involves giving 16 residents 25000 each for home repairs, property costs. Oh, this is a bullshit reparations thing. Um, this plan, however, is far from direct payments that have come to uh, categorize reparations, redress for slavery, and subsequent racial discrimination in the United States. Yeah, this is some bullshit right here. But again, um, it's another trick bag. But where was I? I was right here. <laughs> So again, this is another reason why they don't want to, it's been taking 38 years, 38 years, it's been on the books, 38 years. And um, because I know they don't want to really pass HR 40 because they know you're going to be on the clock then. You're going to be on the clock and black people are not going to allow you to make this study go on longer than a year. We are not, we're not going to allow it. So I feel as though that's another reason they BSing because then you only going to have some time. Let's just say you bullshitted us for five years. After a while, we're going to say, yeah, what are y'all studying? What are you, you feel what I'm saying? You can't play no more games now, right? And they know that and you will be on the clock to start cutting checks. You get what I'm saying? So again, this is another reason why they've been BSing. Um, uh, again, you know, I say, I say cut, make an executive order, but it has to be under certain conditions. Like I said, you know, to both anybody that's on the panel or on the commission has to be, uh, both of their parents have to, uh, trace back to, um, um, chattel slavery, both, um, both parents have to trace back to chattel slavery. And again, this is why, because again, we have these tethers and these people who have allegiance to the other sides of their family. You know, they might be half FBA, half Jamaican, half FBA, half Nigerian or whatever. Right. And you might have grown up with the Nigerian side or the other side of your family who you hold allegiance to, who opposes you know, foundational black Americans, not all of them, but a nice amount does. So again, we have to watch out for that because we don't want anybody having dual allegiance to anybody who isn't eligible because one side of your family is not going to be eligible. And we don't want you holding allegiance to that side of your family to mess us up. So we don't get what we're supposed to get. Um, but yeah, that's that. So again, we really not rocking with HR 40, but um, you know, old boy going to be on the hot seat, man. Biden going to be on the hot seat because at the end of the day, right, he's going to, uh, he's not going to be able to pass with that Brittany Griner thing. Nobody beat for, um, for Joe Biden right now. And I told you the whole thing with, um, California is that's why they, they feel like, you know, Governor Newsom is starting to do, excuse me, family. It's three o'clock in the morning. Do some of these things to um you know do some of these things in California with reparations because he plans on you know running for president uh once Joe Biden's term is up and it's time it's time to run against Trump. So um let's go into the NY lawmakers push for slavery. So let's go back up here because I had to I, I read a little bit of it before I, um okay so NY lawmakers push for slavery reparations for Black Americans, right? So some New Yorker lawmakers, some New York lawmakers are renewing the push for a state for a state law that would lay groundwork to pay reparations to Black residents whose ancestors were enslaved. Um, again, 
we're going to have to twist that up, man, because again, you know, the people in the Caribbean were enslaved. The people in, you know, Nigeria and Africa were enslaved, and we not doing that. This is specific to chattel slavery, and we want lineage-based reparations. Now, I showed y'all before on one of my other videos when I was doing it on California. California has lineage-based reparations. If they do anything for reparations in California, that will be lineage-based, and if you are not foundational Black Americans, you will not fall under it, and you would have to be... Um, identifying as black for at least 12 years and things like that on the census, on your applications, on everything. We know a lot of people aren't doing that, especially, um, you know, when you have some of these people who are um, uh, uh, like Spanish and, you know, they look black, but, you know, we know Spanish people been uh, identifying as white on the census, though. Um, uh, proponents gain steam. Uh, after a task force in California last week recommended that the Golden State shell out um, the the Golden State shell out 569 billion in reparations to slaves um, descendants there, or 223,200 apiece, because of lingering housing discrimination practices. And again, this has to be lineage based. It can't be race based because race based is illegal. Doing things for race is illegal. And that's on, excuse me, family. That's only illegal because of black people, right? They only making it like that. But again, you can give it out to specific people. We know that because again, you gave reparations to the Japanese, right? You didn't give it to the Chinese. You didn't give it to native, uh, well, you did give it to native Americans, but I'm talking about when it was specifically for the Japanese, you didn't give it to anybody else. And that wasn't race based. Again, that was lineage based. That was lineage based. Right. So. Um, a previous proposed New York measure called for creating a commission to study the impact of slavery and providing reparations, but failed to pass the legislation, the legislature. It is now being revised. Backer said, um, we saw what happened in California. We want to pass a bill that states that starts a uh, let me move up that starts a conversation about reparations. Said Assemblywoman Michelle um, Solags, I guess, uh, chairman of uh, New York Black, Puerto Rican, Hispanic, and Asian Legislative Caucus to the post. No, we don't want none of that. We don't want none of that. Okay. Now, again, you saw what happened in California, but in California is lineage based. So all those Puerto Rican, Hispanic, Asian, they can't be in it. They can't be involved because they're not involved in California. So Assemblywoman Taylor uh, Darling said it would be a slap in the face if Governor Kathy Hawker and the legislative don't green light a reparation study commission. Word, it would be a slap in the face. Uh, Darling also scoped that the 223,000 figure that California task force recommended for each black person descendant was too low. Absolutely, it is. Um, this country was built on the black enslaved people and it is impacting everything, housing, economic de uh, development and education. The previous proposal from the New York bill, which was called for the creation of 11 member commission to study the issue passed the assembly in June 3rd in a 104 to 45 vote, but was stalled at the Senate, was stalled in the Senate. So again, um, I guess these are some of the people. I'm not gonna read the whole article to you guys, but again, family, we are getting closer and closer and closer to getting our bag and we are not going to let anyone stop us. We are not going to let these haters or uh, anything, because I'm, I'm telling you the whole reason and the whole purpose that this stuff is happening is because of foundational black Americans. You guys um, in the streets, you guys on social media, you know, the ones who have YouTube channels, the big ones, the little ones like me, um, all of us playing a part and getting this done and um you know we definitely deserve a little a little a little hand clap but it's not done 
We don't want to stop there, and we're not going to stop there. We're only going to keep going harder because we can't stop until the checks get cashed. And even, watch this, even when the checks are cashed, we still going to go because we're not going to allow you to just give us one little check or even, I don't care if it's a big check, we're not going to allow it to be a one-time thing and we're going to stop it there. That's not going to happen. So again, this needs to be continual just like the Native Americans continue to get checks all the time. Um, yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. So again, um, yeah, man, we 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 getting closer and closer, family. And again, we just block out the haters, and we're gonna keep pushing and pushing and pushing because we pushing a narrative. And as long as we keep pushing to these politicians that, yo, this is what we want. We're not voting. We want something tangible, specifically for black people. We're not voting. You feel what I'm saying? And I know there's a there's a little back and forth in the community about, you know, voting Republican and voting for the um to stop immigration, which is a big, 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 super big issue in the black community. So again, um, you know, but I feel like this. This is my idea, and I and I understand everybody who believes that we should um, vote Republican or vote for anybody who's with this the hope of immigration, right? Because immigration uh, strongly affects the black community in a negative way, very heavy. So I get where those um, people are coming from. Those um, great thinkers in our community that feel like we should. Uh, you know, vote Republican or actually not just vote Republican, but vote for anybody. I don't care what side of the aisle they on that are against reparations, because at the end of the day, it's not party, it's policy. We're not voting for party, we're voting for policy, right? So whatever policy affects us the most, that's who we rocking with. We don't care who it is, whether you green, blue, yellow, whether you gay, straight, trans, or anything. I don't give a... What you are, if your policies affect the black community in a good way, we are voting for you. If it affects them in a negative way, we're not rocking with you. We don't care who you are, where you're from. You could have both your parents can be direct descendants of slaves. If you want some coon shit, we're not rocking with you. Straight like that. If you want if you're a tether and you from somewhere else and you cooning, we're not rocking with you. You feel what I'm saying? But if you are um trying to help us and you have our best interest at heart, then we rocking with you at the end of the day. But um, yeah, so again, family, we have to, you know, stick together and not allow these people to, um, to finesse us. But watch this. This is what I was saying. I lost my train of thought. I believe because the people that want us to vote for uh, whoever stopping immigration, and I understand that, right? But again, if we don't vote Democrat and we just don't vote in general, because the people who don't want immigration, let's be honest, are the Republicans. You won't find, I don't think anybody can find besides Marcel Dixon, who shout out to Marcel, who is our brother. Um, he's the only person in a that he ran on a Democratic uh, platform. He's the only person that's not with immigration. So you you ain't going to find no other Democrat that's running like that. Most of the people who don't want immigration are Republicans, right? So again, um, I feel like if we just hold our vote, withhold our vote, because 90% of us vote Democrat, right? So if we just withhold our vote, that would stop the Democrats from winning, which then would you know, the Republicans will win and we will still get what we are looking for, which is um, the borders to be closed. Right. And uh, and all the, you know, all the um, immigrants from coming in. I still think the Republicans will bring in immigrants. They just going to try to slow down on the Mexicans and the blacks at the end of the day. Right. They still going to let them uh, white European um, come in. Excuse me, this is a uh, lemonade and um, iced tea mixed. So it's a half and half. It's not a, um, it's not no alcohol. Yeah, so um, 
what they call it, a Sam, a Sam Arnold, or some some something they call it out here, whatever. Yeah, I, yeah, we we call it half and half though, half and half, half lemonade, half iced tea. So um, yeah, fam. So we 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 definitely want to keep the um narrative. We definitely want to keep the narrative of reparations in our corner, and we always, always, always want cash reparations. Lineage, it got to be lineage based. It has to be cash reparations, and you know anything land and anything to come after that is just is extra tax exemption. Um, yeah, we we want all type of stuff because again, we want to start it off, get the ball rolling, and then that's when we want to start going into companies that owe companies that's going to cut checks, banks that's going to cut checks because you know. Um, we know that Wells Fargo and Chase and you know uh JP Morgan all of them had a hand in slavery and they were financing the slave trade and things like that. So again, we first we're gonna just get our checks cut, but then after that, we're gonna dig into that ass and we're gonna go into Jim Crow, we're gonna go into all that, we're gonna go into you repaying people for for um you know for black Wall Streets beating you burnt down and all of that stuff, and you know, all the other stuff, redlining. Then we can get into all that. And then if you want to try to low key bring other people in, um, not bring them in our situation, you're going to make your own separate suit. You know what I mean? That you can do on your own, on your own time. And you could do that. But in the meantime, we're going to, uh, we're going to do this. For, uh, that's something that's specifically for foundational black Americans. Right. So, um, family, I'm gonna let y'all go. Please. If you, um, if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're trying to build the channel up. We're trying to um, make sure you hit that like button too so we can get the algorithm popping. Hit the like, the share, the notification bell. Hit all that. Do all that. Um, I appreciate y'all being with me here this weekend. I hope y'all having a good weekend. Um, yeah, family, it is what it is, man. We, we just going to keep it pushing. We're going to keep our foot on a neck because we have to, right? Um <sighs> Man, it is, it is what it is, man. I'm a little bit beat right now. It's like 3:20 in the morning. I mean, listen, this is the time I'm normally up, so I'm 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 tired, but I'm not tired, right? But um, I'm gonna let y'all go, family. Y'all have a blessed weekend. I appreciate again. I appreciate all my subscribers. I love y'all. I get new subscribers pretty much every day, or pretty much every time I put a video up. If I don't put a video up, I don't get a subscriber. I feel like YouTube just plays with me like that. You know, um, I don't know, but we trying to get, we trying to get to that thousand. We trying to get more than a thousand. We trying to get to 4,000, 5,000. We trying to get to 40,000, 400,000. You feel me? Because again, we are off this positive content. We don't, uh, we don't rock with the, you know, the, um, we don't rock with the mainstream media. We don't have no people backing us. We don't have, you know what I mean? No companies that's backing us and sponsoring us. So at the end of the day, I get to say what I want, get to say how I feel. And I want y'all to say how you feel, whether you agree or not. I want you to put your comments in the comment section because I don't hate, I don't discriminate. You feel what I'm saying? I take all backlash. I take all, I take all of it. I don't care what you're talking about. I will address you accordingly, unless you're just talking like all the way crazy stupid. Then I'll just, you know, ignore you for the most part. But again, man, we, um, you know, everybody has an opinion. Some some people say a lot of good stuff. So at the end of the day, you know, I love to hear from my people. I love to hear your opinions. I love to hear what the family has to say, because, again, we all are detrimental or I mean, de detrimental. We all are instrumental in the progression of our people and, you know, um, of what's going on in our community. So I want y'all to chime in. I want y'all to. uh yeah, I want y'all to tell some people to subscribe, man. Send this to your family. Tell them to hit the subscribe button. You know what I mean, family? So we can uh, all be on the reparations, um, you know, train at the same time. We all got to be riding the reparations train at the same time. Because the more backing we have and the more we roar about it, the more change will come, right? So again, family, y'all have a uh, y'all enjoy y'all weekend, man. I love y'all, and um, stay blessed, man. We out of here.